God, and the opinion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. God comes into our world with blood like us to bring us salvation and peace. Our hearts are filled with joy as we celebrate this feast of the Incarnation. God has not abandoned us to sin, death, raises us up to a truly be children of God, sharing the place of light, happiness, and peace. We call to mind our sins and our sinfulness, prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you bring light into gloom and darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, wrapped in swaddling clothes and laid in a manger, you are the Savior of the world. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you fill the earth with glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting.
until her vindication shines forth like the dawn, and her victory like a burning torch. Nations shall behold your vindication, and all the kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name, pronounced by the mouth of the Lord. You shall be glorious, crowned in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem, crowned by your God. No more shall people call you forsaken, or your land desolate. But you shall be called by the light, and your land a spot. For the Lord delights in you, and makes your land a spot. As a young man marries a virgin, your builder shall marry you. And as a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall your God rejoice in you. Jesus. 
John heralded his coming by proclaiming the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. The word of the Lord.
Um, so the problems are different problems for them for a lot of people like us. One of the songs we sang today tonight so far is Gloria and Celsius Deo. What does that mean? Awesome, Lord God the highest. That's what you say. What language is that? Latin. Very good. Latin. We sing that. Praise God. This is a night of praising God, thanking God, and wishing all the people that are around us the same love, the same care that God wants to us. We want to experience this and we experience the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Don't we? Very important for us as well. Words are very important, aren't they? The words that we hear tonight in the gospel reading, the words of great wonder and mystery. What kind of, what does it mean when your mom or dad says, John Patrick Kowski? What does that mean? What does that mean? If your mom and dad do you anything, you're in trouble. That's right. <laughs> generation to generation, from one parent with another, child to child with, your mom or dad uses your little name, you're in trouble. What do they say? Hey, honey, you have to order for a minute? What does that mean? They want to, your mom and dad love you, they want to come to you. Okay, that's great. Those are the kinds of words that we use. And uh, later on, we're going to read some other words as well. We're going to talk about Jesus as being wonder counselor, God hero, God forever, Prince of Peace. How do those words make you feel? Pretty good? Okay. Like to our people, what else does it make you feel? We hear from Prince of Peace, God Hero, the Counselor, happy, excited. That just happened to people in the Gospel story, the Christmas story, everyone's excited. Because it was a birth of a child. How many of you have been around with your little brothers and sisters before? Isn't that sort of exciting? Okay. So you were found with dad. It's an exciting time. A little bit of an anxious time as well. A time of great excitement. A time of a great joy. And that's what we're celebrating today as well. And whenever a new child comes into the house, things change, don't they? And that's what happens when Jesus comes into our lives. Is everyone's life changes. Because of Jesus Christ. Mary and Joseph, their life has changed, haven't they? Okay? Listen to Zachariah, their life has changed as well. How about Anna and Simeon? Well, all of a sudden they meet Jesus for the very first time. Is that exciting for them? Sure is. How many of you ever heard the name? The name Walter Payton. Walter Payton. Or the Bears, the Chicago Bears. They actually did well this year, didn't they? That's every 88 years or something. It's great. It's good. So in the right there, I got to meet Walter Dayton. I ran into him at a white tent pantry. It was cool. I liked it a lot. It was really exciting. It's one of the best afternoons of my life, meeting Walter Dayton. I really liked him a lot. It was really a cool thing. And that's what happens, though, when we, have, we meet people, we really want the people come to our lives. It's an exciting time. And that's what we need to celebrate today. It's great excitement as God comes to our lives and one like us. And our lives are never the same again. Now, there's some other people later on in Jesus' life. Who knows the story of Zacchaeus? Zacchaeus is who? Yeah. 
okay? His life can change forever. All these people that we celebrate tonight, think of all the differences that they made in Jesus' life, made your life. Because Jesus comes in and changes your life forever. It's good. This is exciting. It's a wonderful thing, a joyful thing that we celebrate. Now, what we have to do, remember also now, when Jesus comes into our life, we have to be willing to change, don't we? We have to be able to change. How many of you think if you were afraid you were playing baseball, or you were afraid to catch the ball? Not just the ball at me. Would you be a very good baseball player? No, no. How about if you're a swimmer, but you're really afraid of swimming? You're really afraid of the water. Would you be a good uh, swimmer? No, not at all. Good? Good. Yes, good keeps up there. How about if you want to be a violinist, but you don't like to practice violin? Can you be a good violinist? No. Not at all. Not at all. Okay. It's as good. It sounds good. How about if you're going to do, you have math or something, math homework, but you don't want to study, you don't want to do any work. Are you very good at math? No. Are you not? Because you got to do the work, don't you? You've got to be open to catching the ball. You've got to be open to responsibilities of making mistakes. How many of you like to when people laugh when you make mistakes? No, you don't. It doesn't feel good. I'm a terrible singer. I sing terribly. You know what my singing sounds like? You're like a metal chair, dragging across the top of the floor. That's what my singing sounds like. It's pretty bad, isn't it? But I love to sing. You'll see any singing later on. Up here. Yes. So those are the times that those are the wonderful things that we have to do. So we're going to do receive Jesus Christ. We have to be willing to change and do things differently, don't we? But we can't be afraid. One of the other things that we talk about, other words we talk about, is Emmanuel. Because Emmanuel gives us the strength and courage to make the changes that we need to make. Who does Emmanuel mean? God is with us. Very good. So Emmanuel, God is with us. And that's what we really celebrate. With joy, with gladness. God is always with us. God is always there to help us change, to be different, to help other people experience Jesus Christ. So tonight, go out of here and get ready. If there's no presents tonight, okay. So, thank and praise God tonight for the great gift of Jesus Christ. Come into our lives, one like us, and we might experience something. We treat you now to the regular good in Paris. <laughs>
We looked up our prayer and our petitions. For our Holy Father, Bishop, and other church leaders, that they will be instruments of joy, reconciliation, and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we are That the joy and peace celebrated in Christmas will grow this holy season in coming new year, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we are That our world and its leaders will strive for Pray to the Lord. Lord, that the poor and needy will be blessed by the concern and support of their brothers and sisters in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, for all of us here, may we continue to share the joy of Christmas with our loved ones throughout the coming year. We pray to the Lord. Lord, for all Christians, that the wondrous birth of our Lord Jesus Christ will awaken our hearts to the priceless gift of every child. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we are That our faithful departed will know the new light of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we are Great is all life and never living God. Pure light is your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, comes into our lives to scatter the darkness of sin and evil to lead us into a more perfect light. May our lives always reflect His glory and goodness in the prayer we place before you this day, make our lives holy and pure holy. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. <laughs> 